and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to have a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Audition and showing you how to improve your audio, enhancing your audio, cleaning it up a bit, making it a bit more crisper, a bit more smoother, a bit better, basically, in general. Uh, now, this is specifically for voiceover vocals. I'll probably create another video for singing vocals, but this is specifically for if you're just talking or if you have uh, vocals to voiceover for your video or like a document for your creating or anything like that's not basically singing or any type of musical uh, relation to it. Now be aware before we get into the effects and the tricks that you can do to improve your audio, be aware that having a good microphone is half of what can make an audio track sound good. If you're recording with a built-in microphone on your laptop, then chances are you can only perfect it up to a certain point before it starts sounding terrible. Uh, if you have a better microphone, you can perfect it up to a higher point and you can improve it a bit more. So be aware that the microphone you have will affect the quality of how good it can sound and how much you can do with these effects and tricks I'm going to be showing you. So here we are in Adobe Audition. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just record and create a new file. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is GS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. Now, if we take a listen to this. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is GS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. Now it's always very important to keep some noise at either the beginning of your recording or at the end of your recording so that we can do noise removal. If you hear this right here, that is static. We don't want any static in our uh, in our track. So very easily we can go up to effects, so we can go to noise reduction, capture noise point, and then we can highlight everything, go to effects, noise reduction again, noise reduction process, and you can play around these settings and hit apply. Now I do have a in-depth tutorial on noise reduction in Adobe Audition. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description as well as an on-screen annotation and a card right now because I'm not going to go over it all again. But generally that's what you want to do. You want to capture a point and then you want to apply the effect on here. So now if we listen, that noise is gone, which is also gone from our track here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is GS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. So uh, the other thing that I would recommend you to do as well is to, if you have a lot of harsh S's in your recording, and we tend to have a lot because if you take a listen here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is GS Mama. We have a lot of S's in testing, testing, GS. And you know, there's dar a good amount of S's in there. What you can do, and what I see, what I see a lot of people doing is they'll highlight their entire track like so. They'll go up to effects. They'll go down to, I believe it's amplification and compression and dynamic processing. Now this is a great little effect to use. In the presets, you have several presets, and you can actually select the deesser, I believe it's called. Here's the DSR. I would recommend using DSR light and DSR medium. DSR hard tends to overdo it a bit. So DSR medium, you can select as a preset. And if you take a listen to this now. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And if we take a listen to it without the effect. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. It sort of pushes the S's back a bit. Uh, you can pick DS or hard if you really want to. Uh, if you really want to bring them down, but I really wouldn't do that. Uh, this is optional. I usually don't do this, but if you find it helpful on your piece of audio, you can definitely do something like this as well. And uh, if you ever, if you ever apply an effect like so, uh, you can always just Control Z to basically go back. And you can tell in the waveform here. You can tell we zoom in here what the DSer has done. You see these points right here? Here's where an S comes in. If we just play this little portion here. You see how that S goes? But if I were to add this effect, that S goes away. As you see, it's basically brought back. It's basically brought to the back of the track a bit more and it brings the S's down so they're not as harsh. So you can do that and it is very helpful. However, what I really like to do in all of my audio is to use the mastering effect. So we're gonna highlight everything once again and we're gonna go up to effects again and go down to special and mastering. 
Now in the mastering, there are several presets you can use. However, I've created a preset here that I've named the vocal preset. And these are the settings that I currently have. You can change these around uh, the high end and the low end. You want to keep check marked. And we basically change these a bit to bring the to bring the uh, the low end lower and the high end a bit lower as well. Uh, your reverb here is basically how much echo you have. Depending on if you want a lot of echo, you can increase this value. Uh, we can put it to something like maybe 30, and you'll notice a difference if we go and press enter, and you'll listen to this. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Right, compared to what we did have it at, which was 15. This is JS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. It gives us a nice small echo that isn't as noticeable, but it's still there to bring that uh, quality effect. Now the exciter here, you want to be using tape and not this one right here. Make sure you use tape and you can tell the difference. Keeping it at 86, relatively high is a good idea. If you bring it too low, you can tell what the sounds like. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is JS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. You can tell this is basically the crispness of your voice. So keeping it relatively high is a good idea. Uh, I wouldn't put it at 100 because it sounds kind of strange. Around 85 is a good idea. Uh, the next two values you can keep at 0, 0. I don't really use them that much. However, if you do play with them, you can tell a difference. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. This is GS Mama Smart. Quite frankly, keeping it at zero is your best bet. Um, the loudness and the maximum. This is not really required. We don't need to increase our volume. Now the output gain here is sort of very similar to the loudness. However, you bring if you bring this, you don't really want to mess around too much with this value here. Bringing it, bringing it lower is always a good idea. Uh, bringing it too low can um, be a bad idea. So this you may want to have to play around with with your microphone. Perhaps getting perhaps negative two wouldn't be too bad of an idea. We can take a listen to this. I'm smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. As you can tell, the difference between negative two and negative eight is a pretty big difference. Uh, negative at negative two, it seems like all the effects are sort of amplified a bit. They sound kind of silly and overdone. However, at negative eight, uh, they're sort of brought to the back a bit more, and it makes it seem a bit more natural. So, if you'd like to uh, copy these settings or take a screenshot of it, and then basically match these settings to your Adobe Audition settings, then that'd be a good idea. And uh, you can definitely play around with some of these. There are other presets as well. I just found these settings to work best for my microphone. Obviously, if your microphone's a bit different, you can change some of these settings. But that's typically what I do to my audio uh, if I'm you know, creating anything professional or I'm doing a voiceover for a long commentary or a podcast or whatnot. These are the settings that I usually use. And then you can go ahead, apply. And ju just so you can see the before and after, take a listen to the before and after here. This is JS Mama Smart creating a tutorial for Adobe Audition. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is JS Mama Smart creating a tutorial. As you can see, if we, if we, the, the effect, Without the effect, everything sounds very hard, and it kind of sounds like we're very close to our microphone as well. And it just it just doesn't sound very crisp. It feels like all the words are coming out really harshly, and it doesn't sound very natural or smooth. This sort of smooths the audio out a bit and makes it a bit more crisper. So that's why using the maximizer here, the maximizing is a great way to make your audio sound a bit better. You can go ahead and hit apply then, and that'll basically clean up your audio. And as you can tell, even the waveforms here are changed, as you can see, they're a bit uh, lower. If you end up needing this a bit louder, you can go ahead and highlight everything and go to effects, and you can go to amplitude and compression. You can amplify this uh, slightly, perhaps by uh, maybe three or four, but I wouldn't maximize it too much because then it will sound pretty terrible. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. 
keeping at maybe maximizing three or four at a maximum is a good idea. But that's pretty much the tutorial. Hopefully it's helped you out. Hopefully you understood and learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment box below. I'll definitely be answering any questions you have. And if you like this video, you like my other videos, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page. Anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen and it'll bring you to the page. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials, Adobe Audition tutorials, uh, Movie Maker, uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, lots of software tutorials on a channel that I think you find interesting if you're into editing and if you're into working with tons of different software. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Mouse Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.